Hello everyone, my name is KJ and today I'm going to be playing a game called Won't Look Back by Sapunj, who you'll know if you play Geometry Dash. Sapunj was a very popular creator, not so much anymore, not been making many levels. Um, I'm not actually completely sure uh, if he's quit or if he's just taken a break, probably um, to work on things like this. Now some of the elements of this game were made by other people, like the music, which was made by CSX42. You might know him if you've played Geometry Dash. He used to be a, a big part of the community. Um, and the sound effects, which were made by the Devon. Uh, and I believe the graphics, which were made by Tomartin. So um, I'll leave links to all of the people who worked on this uh, in the description. And I'll leave a link to the game if you want to download it and play it for yourself. But for now, I'm just gonna um, start playing it myself. Um, so the whole um, kind of concept of the game is that you can't move backwards. So I can only move forwards in this section. Um, and that's about, that's all I know about the game. So I can move left and right, but the character doesn't uh, turn, so I still can't move backwards in any way. Okay. So it's a um, puzzle game, it looks like. So far it's not too difficult. Press R, I believe that's restart. Um, so, for example, if I get caught in this bit, oh, I can't go backwards, so I'm stuck. So. I'm going to just restart the level. And I'm guessing there's going to be more kind of maze-like sections in this part. Um, uh, looks like I... Um, I could go either way through here. Are you kidding me? I got stuck there. <laughs> Let's go up this way then. This looks like a better way to do it. It says, think ahead really. Oh, okay, now I've got some more interesting maze-like things. Um, so let's go up here. Yeah, okay, that, that worked. There's probably multiple paths in each section. Oh. What's that? The sword. Whoa! What does it What does it say on here, though? Oh, a hero who won't look back. In your order to pursue your quest, you shall find the not so hidden sword. Oh, I already did that. <laughs> this is awesome. I like that. So now we've got a new gameplay element, which is uh, the sword. Um. Oh, okay, I think I see how we're going to do this. So we're going to have to go through here. Oh. Yeah, okay, that didn't work. Um, went slightly too far forward. So if I went up into the top bit there, I wouldn't be able to go back down um, into, into the section I am in now. Because I can only go forward and backwards, so I wouldn't be able to get into here. That's quite cool. Okay, so there's a key there. Oh, wait. See, now I'm stuck there. So I'm going to want to destroy these first. I like this. This is really neat. that key. Okay, that's interesting. So, does that mean we want to destroy all of those blocks there? Like that. Okay. Nice. Yeah, this looks alright. Oh, really? I went slightly too far forward and got stuck. Right, and that allows me to go up here now. And get both keys. Wow, this is a, a really nice, really nice game. What does it say? 
Monsters lies ahead. Why won't you look back? Being so blunt will only cause you troubles. Okay, it's kind of eerie. The, there's no um, music in the box. Okay, so that was some sort of slime enemy it looked like. I wonder if there's going to be any boss fights or anything, because I don't, I don't actually know anything about the game. Other than the fact that you can't go back. <laughs> That's all I knew. Okay, so one of these guys has a key. Uh-oh, this guy's coming at me from the side, and there's not much I can do about that. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was so close. Look at this guy. Uh-oh. He's coming for me. No, this isn't what I want. Quick, get the key, get the key. Ah! Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm dead now. Damn, that's annoying. Wait, I'm gonna dodge that guy. I'm gonna go the other way. Are you kidding me? It's, uh... That makes it really difficult not being able to, um... Wait, what? It makes it difficult not being able to move backwards, of course. Excuse me? But now I won't be able to get the key. Okay, this one's interesting. <laughs> okay, I don't know how this works. Oh, I can um, aggravate this guy. From the bottom. That makes way more sense. Now I believe this guy's going to start following me. But it's fine. We've got time. We can make it. Very cool, very cool. Well, here you are, fool. Now you're stuck. Was it worth it? Am I stuck? Can I break any of these? I'm actually confused. Okay, I think that's actually the end of the game because there's nothing to do here. It's just, it's a kind of message at the end saying, um, if you never look back on anything, then um, you'll be stuck. Maybe. <laughs> you'll be stuck in your ways or something like that. Um, so this guy is clearly a fool because he's not going backwards at all. He's just only going forwards. Um, but I guess that's it. That's the end of the game. So I really liked it. It was f it was really fun. I'm uh, I kind of wish it was longer. I wish there was more uh, levels in it. But uh, that's just because I really liked it and I like the concept of not being able to go backwards. It's it makes for some nice puzzles. Um, and maybe if there were, if, uh, Sapunj made any more of this, um, if he wanted to make, like, a part two or, um, like a second world or something like that, then he could add more enemies or something along those lines. That would be really nice. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it then. Um, make sure you check out Sapunj. Uh, check out the people who helped him, um, make the game with, uh, the sound of the visuals and um, uh, be sure to play it for yourself if you like this video then be sure to subscribe I have a Twitter account as well there's always a link in the description um, but apart from that I've got nothing else to say so I will see you all later bye